Good day, YouTube. 1MJ here, and welcome back. All right, and the market has tumbled even further, down 9.3%. But look, it was down more, and it has kind of rebounded. And we're waiting to see whether this is the bottom. Now, look, no one knows whether we've hit the bottom or not, but from the way the wicks are looking on the charts, and we'll get to that very soon, I get the feeling like we might have, but look, th there's no guarantees in life. Again, time is the greatest storyteller of them all. The problem is you have to wait till everything's happened to know the outcome. But that is just the way it goes. But it definitely has a feel like maybe the bottom was in. And I guess everyone at the moment is probably wondering, you know, why it's going to happen. And we're going to have a look into that. Look, I think a lot of people are probably thinking that everyone's just given up on crypto and all the rest of it. I don't think that's it at all, but in saying that, it's all the new money and the silly money and the people that just can't hold, those who don't have diamond hands and that, they're out. Now, what I can say is Bitcoin was at $64,000. It wicked all the way down to $30,000, and now it's already back at $40,000, thereabouts. So that what that's what kind of makes me think, I think we have found the bottom. It's not to say that we can't go a little bit lower from 39000 I think we could, but I think that kind of $30,000 mark, that really has, I think that was the bottom. I, I just, I can't see it bought, uh, uh, pushed any lower but again we'll wait and see but moving on let's have a look 1.7 trillion dollars so i thought we'd just dip under 2 trillion and then get back up we came down further than i thought but look that's the way it is and for me like i said i'm buying at the moment i'm literally whatever money i have i'm basically putting into cryptocurrencies now not all of it i always keep some money on the side in case it goes lower but at the moment i am in a buying frenzy i bought super farm i bought um, oh God, what is it? Uniswap. I bought Synthetics Network. Uh, I bought some uh, fill tokens. Yeah, I, I've been out there buying because I know this is a great opportunity and I don't need to get the exact bottom. I just got to be thereabouts. And I know this kind of stuff is thereabouts. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, BTC dominance. Look what's happened. It is back up above 50%. I think BTC is going to first going to be the first to go on a bit of a run the altcoins and that are going to get bled a little bit i've already bought some bitcoin and i look i may even buy some more i'm just going to wait and see because we dip down so hard i think maybe this or you know could be now on its way up again and if it is then i'm happy to just let my money kind of sit on the side unless there is another further dip and then i'll buy but i again i was out you know shopping for altcoins and i bought bitcoin yesterday and at around about this price so again i you know, I've got money on the side for if it goes lower, and if it does go lower, I'll continue to buy more. And if it starts to go back up, then I just go back to my DCAing dollar cost sort of averaging. Now, again, whether that's going to be into Bitcoin or not, I don't know. Again, I think Bitcoin uh, is a good buy in the 30s, don't get me wrong, but I think some of these altcoins at the moment are going to absolutely scream once they bitcoin gets to its next leveling out part and i think bitcoin once it starts to move will get up pretty close to a hundred thousand i don't think it'll uh have trouble excuse me getting through that eighty thousand dollar mark i think we're pretty fast going to get up to 100k but that's my opinion all right gas prices super high at the moment and it's because everyone's trying to sell and swap into stable coins and things like that and that's why these gas prices are high but you know not as high as what they have been so as we can see it's just red 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 and red but some coins have actually done all right and have rebounded really really fast so let's have a look waves there you go uh husd i know unibright uh has done all right at least on the uh coin spot the platform that i use here in australia the exchange uh rebounded pretty well but look, there's nothing kind of too great, too crazy sort of here. But this is where we're going to see, you know, how bad it kind of was. What about the dips? What got hammered the worst? At least in the top 100. Boom, Bitcoin SV, Phantom, Terra, Aave. Whew, got knocked about. 
polka dot is looking pretty good i actually forgot i bought some polka dot that was the other coin that i bought i couldn't remember i bought five of them and yep jumped on some polka dot quite happy to buy these prices uh eos shiba inu i mean you know good lord litecoin you know it was up at all-time highs so nearly four i think it did get over four hundred dollars i think it was four hundred and six dollars it is basically half price from its old all-time high at the moment so again <laughs> There are some really great buys out there at the moment. But again, could it go lower? Yes, but I just get the feeling like the bottom is in. So all right, let's have a look and I'll show you why I think the bottom's in. Here was my line. I said I would be surprised if it went below this, 32,000. Now it wicked all the way down to 20. There we go here. What's that about? 30,000. So $30,000 thereabouts. A wick down, but look what happened to that wick. Bang, it got bought up pretty quickly, and that was yesterday. And look at today, it tried to push down again as well, but it just got bought up again. And now Bitcoin is sitting around $40,000. I think it's definitely possible it goes another leg lower, and again, maybe pushes down into the kind of 37, 38, maybe even sort of $36,000 range. But I think the bottom is in. I really do believe that's the bottom. I can't see it going any lower. Now, $750 million worth of uh, Bitcoin was snapped up today. When the bottom, when they believed the bottom was in, that's it right there. That is big players coming in and buying the dip. Look, I mean, this is one hell of a move. Let's have a look. And again, you know, you can kind of say it started from here to there. So what do we have? Oh, God, I'm going to have to bring it down. Sorry. Guys, give me a minute. Yeah, no, let's go from here after that silly bloody Bart Simpson pat pattern. So what are we? 400%. So we're going to go up to here. I'm going to have to pull this over, sorry. But you can see it's basically four 500%. The Bitcoin went up 561% from September last year. Now, yes, it's unfortunate for those who've come in much later. They're hurting at the moment. But basically, anyone who got in before January this year, so anyone who got in last year, has seen probably crazy gains, particularly September last year and even earlier. So yes, there's a pretty brutal kind of uh, correction at the moment. So you, from 500 and something percent, you take off 50%. But that's not 50% of your 500%. That's just 50% from the top. So look, this correction isn't anywhere near as bad as what people are thinking. And look where it's quickly rebounded to. It is currently on that 200-day moving average again. So we had a close that wicked down, but then it's quickly made it back up. Now again, we'll just have to wait and see. We really need to kind of hold this level uh, for it to be you know, more bullish. But look, that might take a day or two. But we also could have a V recovery. So this could be something that basically goes boom down like this and then sort of shoots back up like that. I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean that. But that's definitely a possibility of something that could happen. And that's what I'm looking for. God, get rid of that. So this kind of V-shaped recovery. So yep, steep sell-off. And again, we've kind of hit this mark where we had some, some support and resistance, but again, it was even more so uh, around this point. And do we then now rock it up and start to make our way towards that 100,000? Again, I get the feeling the bottom is in, as in I think this is the bottom. I don't think Bitcoin's going to go lower than 30,000, at least not on any kind of daily close. We could have another close or two behind the 200-day moving average, but I get the feeling like people are already pretty happy to buy Bitcoin right now at 39,000. Again, I did. And I'm more than happy uh, to buy some more tomorrow if it goes down a little bit lower. And in all honesty, I'm just going to keep buying until it starts to go back up. That's the one thing I've learned. DCAing really does work. And again, for me, I think that's the bottom. It's in. All right. Now, here's a reason why I think it sort of happened. Well, number one, this is why it happened. Leverage liquidations cause market crash but rebound will come. And it looks like it's already starting to rebound. So there was the Elon Musk stuff, you know, the Chinese stuff, and, you know, government's going to regulate and all the rest of it. But there was so much enthusiasm in the market that everyone was just going long. There was all these leverage positions. And some big players came in, got together, 
and basically wiped it out. I'm betting there were some people that shorted the absolute backside out of uh, Bitcoin. I have no doubt. And then bought the hell out of it when it got down to the prices that they wanted to. And I would say that is roughly around here, the $36,000 mark. That's where it really got snapped up hard. It got pushed down lower, but 36000 was a buy point. And I've gotten rid of my little green bar in there, but this fell within that. It was in that green bar, kind of 30 yeah, well, it was more up here, actually, sorry. So this fell below. But again, now we're back at the 200-day moving average. And to show things were way too overheated, global cryptocurrency Google searches reach a new all-time high. That's how you know things were overheated and crazy and that this, you know, was always going to happen. Now, it's easy to say that in hindsight. I didn't think it was going to go as low, but I did have a sneaky suspicion that we're, we might pull back. Now, again, I was more confident that we'd go up in the long run, but in the short term, I absolutely thought it was possible that we could come down lower. I just didn't know we'd go this low because this is kind of out of character. We've had basically from 64,000 down to 30,000. That is a full, well, it's over 50% sort of correction. We haven't seen that in many, many years. But it was only a wick. It wasn't a candle body close. But what is slightly different is we've got two candle body closes that so far have closed below the 50-day moving average. That is unusual. So that shows you that the cycles are changing a little bit, but still not massively because we've had bigger corrections. You can go back to 2013 and they had a 70, 80% correction in the middle of the bull run. So we're somewhere in between. All right, look, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. It's pretty hard to be happy right now. Unless you're buying, and to be honest, I'm happy about that. I, Like I said, I'm buying, 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 and I'm happy for crypto to stay down lower. I'm putting a little bit into Bitcoin, but I'm really jumping into some of those altcoins at the moment because they actually haven't retraced half as bad as what I thought. But should Bitcoin stay down here for a while, it'll be interesting to see what the altcoins do. Do they, again, you know, trade really good when Bitcoin travels sideways? Or what happens if Bitcoin, again, gets that V-shaped recovery and comes straight back up? Do altcoins bleed even more? But either way, the bigger gains are to be made in altcoins and the good ones. Excuse me. So for me, that's where I'm putting more of my money at the moment. I definitely bought some Bitcoin yesterday. And if it does go down, and I start to see it around $36,000, dollars $37,000, I'm absolutely going to buy some more. But otherwise, the altcoins uh, is where I'm at at the moment. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. I couldn't imagine anyone's on that gain train unless you're kind of shorting Bitcoin and then maybe it'll be a gain uh, in the future. But other than that, I'll see you next time.